Congress has agreed on a bill to reopen the government. And lawmakers also raised the borrowing limit. Jonah Kaplan is here now to sort everything out and what happened uh, into the night. Jo well, let's just put it this way. I'm sure many Americans would love it if the words continuing resolution and debt ceiling were never uttered again. Be fine. It would yeah. be just fine. Well, here's what we can promise. It won't be mentioned for at least the next few months. That's about it. Because Congress passed a bipartisan deal to end the partial government shutdown and avoid a possible debt default. The final Senate vote, 81 to 18. Not long after, the House passed the measure 285 to 144. And I'll tell you who exactly voted against it in a minute. But it's a short-term plan that would finance the government through early January and raise the debt limit through early February. Let's be honest. This is pain inflicted on our nation for no good reason and cannot make, we cannot, cannot make the same mistake again. We've been locked in a fight over here trying to, trying to bring government down to size, trying to do our best to stop Obamacare. We fought the good fight. We just didn't win. Now, the law calls for an agreement by mid-December on a long-term budget plan. We'll take bets to see if that happens. But as I promised, I wanted to say, so here's who voted against uh, from Wisconsin. Senator Ron Johnson against, uh, Sean Duffy, Paul Ryan, Jim Sensen, uh, Brenner, and Tom Petri. So that's all Republican, uh, all Democrats voted for with some, and then all Republicans voted against. All right, good so to know. Jonah, stuff. thanks for sorting that out for us this yeah. morning. A bizarre incident, too, in the House floor during Wednesday's vote to reopen the government. Keep an eye on the middle part of your screen. A longtime stenographer had to be removed after an outburst where she began ranting about God and the Freemasons. There's some cell phone video coming up here that was taken after security removed her from the chamber. No word yet on if the woman will face any charges. We have a breaking news update now from Nicolay High School. The 